Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day today. In the studio, we've got a guitar from a manufacturer that I've never used before, which is always exciting. So let's open it up and take a look. So today we're checking out a Vola. Now Vola guitars are made in Japan and they generally manufacture super strat type guitars. Although this model has some really traditional elements to it. This is the Oz. We're going to break it down and show you guys everything about this guitar. Now, if you guys want to jump to a specific section of this demo, feel free to do that. We'll have sections on specs, on tone, on playability and ergonomics, and of course on overall construction. So feel free to check those out. Other than that, let's jump in and start the demo. All right, you guys, let's quickly hit up some of the main highlights of the Oz so that we have a better idea of what this guitar is all about. Now, this model is the Oz RMN, and that stands for Roasted Maple Neck. Really, really cool. And if you guys don't know, Roasted Maple Necks just means the moisture content has been, you know, baked out of the wood. So that means when this guitar leaves the factory in Japan and comes here to Canada or maybe South America or somewhere in the Mediterranean. Uh, doesn't matter what the moisture content is or the humidity in the air, uh, the roasted maple neck should resist movement. So should be very, very stable, which is awesome. Now up on the headstock, we've got a set of Godo locking tuners and these are vintage style locking tuners. So really interesting choice. Um, I think that look really, really cool. And of course they're Godo, so they're gonna work really well. Um, so yeah, it kind of has like this really in my mind anyway, kind of modern super strat look, but we've got a set of, you know, really great locking tuners, but with sort of a vintage flair. They're sort of the smaller uh, eight millimeter holes with, you know, that vintage style locking tuner. I think it looks really cool. Now moving on to the body section, we've got an alder body with a lot of comfort cuts. So on the back side, we've got an absolutely massive belly cut right from the top of the guitar uh, here all the way up to almost the end of the upper horn. So very comfortable. And the upper horns, as you guys can see, are a little bit more, you know, thinned out and modern looking over a traditional Strat. Uh, on the back side, we also have a massive contour right here, which you don't see on a lot of guitars, but it's really, really appreciated. That means you can nestle your hand, you know, right up to those top frets um, and have full access. So that's really appreciated. Now, as for the electronics and the pickups, we've got very simple controls, just a single volume and a single tone, keeps things simple, and a five-way switch. The pickups obviously are humbucker, single, single, very versatile combination, one of my favorites for sure. And these are Vola branded pickups, so we'll plug them in uh, in a second and find out, you know, exactly what they sound like. And we've got a Godo 510 trim really awesome trim unit um, we've got uh, a bar that gets locked in via a set screw so it'll stay where you want it so really great trim system and other than that let's check out some of the tones
So now let's talk a little bit about ergonomics. This is really, really important when you're talking about a guitar. Now I've played on this guitar for about a month. That's what I like to do before I actually, you know, demo a guitar for you guys. So I really know the ins and outs of each guitar. And so I can, you know, accurately represent it. Now, thankfully the Vola, you know, really, really shines in this area. It's in and about seven pounds. So it's very, very light and it's got no headstock dive, which is another giant pet peeve of mine. So if I let go of the guitar, I can even push down on the headstock and it will stay or even pop back up into playing position. So very, very balanced, which is super important, especially since it's got locking tuners. Lots of guitars that have locking tuners because it does add a, a substantial amount of weight to the headstock um, will kind of, you know, maybe dive a little bit or not be super balanced, but happily I can say, you know, the Vola balances just wonderfully. So you can just play, uh, focus on playing and not, you know, balancing the guitar. So that is a massive, massive plus. So it's lightweight and it's balanced, which is, you know, awesome. Um, like I said before, lots of contours. You've got this one right here for your strumming hand. Really, really great. Uh, of course, the belly cut and this one here. The only area that I would like to see Vola upgrade is the heel joint. Everything else just plays like a dream. We'll talk about the neck profile in a second. Um, but I'd like to see them just kind of take off this corner a bit or maybe taper it this way so it's thicker here and thinner here. There's all sorts of different ways that you can kind of contour this joint while keeping it super strong. So, I mean, this is a traditional joint. It's not going anywhere. It's proven for like 70 years or whatever. But I, uh, that's one area where I'd like to see the ergonomics upgraded. Other than that, this is just about perfect. So plays really nice. Now, as for the neck profile, uh, it's at least for my hand, absolutely wonderful. It's not a shred neck. So even though, like I said, it's kind of a hybrid guitar between like traditional elements and modern elements. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice it's not baseball bat, it's not shredder, it's just the perfect profile and I, it's hard to explain, but it just fits my hand absolutely perfectly. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about construction. Now, the first thing I wanna say is personally, I've never been let down by a guitar made in Japan. Usually, you know, they're very, very well built, great quality control, attention to detail, all very, very good. And happily, I can say the Vola continues that tradition. This guitar is made in Japan and it's made well. <clears throat> now, when we look up at the headstock here, we can see the shape is, you know, really lightweight. So that's why this guitar has no headstock dive and it can have locking tuners. Um, and the headstock's made really well. You know, all the lines are clean and, you know, cut well and finished well. So no problems on the headstock. Now, when we look at the nut, this is a bone nut. And I've got to say, this guitar has been holding tune absolutely amazing. I can use the bar as much as I want and not worry about, you know, tuning hangups. So bone nut, everything's been great. Now, when we look at a close up of the bone nut, we can see it's, um, you know, just perfect. There's no excess glue coming onto the fingerboard. All the slots are cut clean, very, very precise. And when we look at a I look at the nut from the other angle, you can see the shoulders match up with the edge of the neck. So this nut is cut very, very well. Now moving on to the fretwork. This again is very important because this is how our hand interacts with this guitar. It's a 12 inch radius, so it plays very fast and very clean. Uh, the frets themselves are polished up really nice and you know, not much to say. Now, when we look at the fret ends, I'll take a shot uh, kind of in the middle of the neck or down low here. Um, and as you can see, nice polished, no tooling marks. So that's great. And then when we look up high, I always like to take a shot, you know, up high where people don't, you know, maybe usually spend most of their time um, because this really tells a lot about a manufacturer as well. And as you can see, they're still polished. They're still rounded. So great job. Now, as for the rest of the trim system, let's take a look at the front side and at the block on the back. Now, as I mentioned, this is a Godo and this system holds tune really well. The bar is set by a little screw right here in the collar, which means you can loosen it up and have your bar floppy if you want. Or like me, I like to use it and then just kick it out of the way and it will stay exactly where you want it. So great flexibility there for the player. And yeah, it's just sort of a knife edge floating system with block inlays, which means you can lay your hand on there and you know not have those little feet dig in, which is always nice. Now, when we flip it over, you can see it's a traditional system. So we've got the claw and the springs and the block. And the block looks really cool. Um, looks like it's just a little easier to get the, the ball ends on the strings through there. So nice little design there. But yeah, as I you know, mentioned this thing 
holds tune really well, and it's built really well. All right, so here are my final thoughts on the Vola Oz. Now, first things first, I gotta say the vintage white and the mint pickguard is an absolutely classic and perfect combination. I think it looks absolutely amazing with the roasted maple neck. So that's the first thing. I think the aesthetics on this guitar are really cool. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I've been playing on the Oz for about a month and I've really gotten to know the ins and outs of this guitar. And I think what it comes down to is this. If you want like a super strat playing experience in terms of, you know, a unique body style, in terms of, you know, a little bit of a flatter radius, um, more modern features like, you know, locking tuners, uh, the roasted maple neck, um, you know, really easy to play guitar, um, but you don't necessarily play with a ton of high gain, this is going to hit your sweet spot because it plays like an absolute dream, um, but it doesn't have like super modern tone. It has more of a vintage kind of tone. As I mentioned, really bright, chimey single coils with that kind of medium output humbucker kind of hits the sweet spot for a lot of genres. So if you want like the super strat playing experience, but you don't necessarily need like the super strat high gain tone, this is going to be a great option. Now the guys at Vola have been really cool and they're offering a 10% discount code. I've put that in the video description below. So if you're interested in a guitar like this, be sure to use that code because it's going to save you some cash. So thanks to the guys at Vola. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. All my information, including the gear I use, uh, t-shirts, including the wants versus needs shirt and other designs, uh, tab store, all that stuff is in the video description below. Feel free to check that out. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Mm -hmm.